The national unemployment rate is a little more than 8%. The rate for military spouses is more than three times higher. A number of organizations hosted a job fair in Hampton to help military spouses and veterans find employment. Then besides Art Khan was there today with his story, New at 11. Since the event kicked off a little more than a year ago, there have been more than 200 Hiring Our Heroes job fairs across the country, and both active duty military and those recently separated from service are showing up in large numbers. You want me to call? Employers are not only offering jobs, but advice to job applicants about what employers are looking for during the hiring process. Many of the people attending these events are military spouses. The transient lifestyle of military families makes it especially difficult for the spouse of an active duty service member to secure a good job. Because you've moved around and you know, there's gaps, people uh, take time off for deployments and then try to jump back in. So it can be very difficult, which is why we have a 26% unemployment rate for military spouses across the country right now. It's a testament to, to their drive and determination that they continue to seek out these positions and, and the things that they do to stay sharp and to stay um, at the front, at the forefront, and to be competitive when they can get back into the job market. When was the last time you were in the job market? Five years ago. Army wife Tabitha McCord has done her share of moving, and now that her daughter is old enough to go to school, McCord wants to go back to work. She says military spouses bring special job skills to the market that are always in demand. I mean, all employers want somebody who's good with multitasking and time management, so. It also helps to be tenacious. So I've been looking since April 20th. That was my uh, retirement ceremony. I'm still not employed yet, so. But you're still smiling. Yeah, um, I, I have to. Virginia Senator Mark Warner served as the honorary co-chair of today's event. He's promoting bipartisan legislation to aid small business that are responsible for creating many of the new jobs in this country.